hey guys welcome back to my channel again welcome back to the empire thank you so much for the love that i'm receiving on my previous videos okay, so um today i want us to do laundry at the same time reviewing the mica 8 kg top load automatic washing machine so you're going to spend the day with me doing laundry but right now i want to sock the clothes i don't know if it's just me or I sock clothes, whether it's I'm using a machine on my hands, I'm just used to soaking clothes because I feel like it gives me the best outcome. So I want to sock clothes, sort them out and sock them, sort them out and sock them so that I can wash them either, right now it's about three, so I can either wash them in, at night or wash them tomorrow. So I'm going to show you through the process. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. So let's do laundry. So I'm just going to show you all the clothes that I need to wash and how I'm sorting them out. And then I'm going to give you the details of the machine as we move on. So these are all the laundries that I need to do. These are the baby's clothes. Uh, some of our clothes there. Then I already started sorting them out. These are the blacks right here. These are the colored ones. The ones that have zippers, I have zipped them up. So those are the ones that have zippers. Those are the white ones. I have finished sorting these ones. And then these are the babies. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to sock them. Uh, the babies ones, I just put them in the machine. The machine does have a sort soaking option. But it will only do that if you have direct water supply. Now, my, my machine is not connected to, it's not connected to water directly. So I use it manually. <laughs> Like some, I just let it wash and spin for me. Wash and spin for me. Yeah, and then I do the rinsing myself. That is what I'm going to show you guys. So, yeah. So, guys, this is the machine. This is the Mica HKG automatic washing machine, top load. So, this is the ulterior. This is the control panel right here. This is the lid. You open it up. That is the drum right there. It has a dirty socks inside. That is the drum right there. It liters. Uh, the lint filter, which actually reminds me I need to clean it. This is the lint filter right here. It comes off, right, so that you can clean the dirt. I actually want to show you that inside. So. I'm supposed to you're supposed to remove this that and wash it after you've done washing I don't know how I forgot to do that <laughs> the lint filter that's how it looks like so you're supposed to clean it after you've done washing I'm going to clean mine in just a few then you have the detergent box this is where you put your fabric softener this is where you put your detergent Okay, that is the interior. Then the lid closes softly, as you can see. Just like that, it's closed. This is the exterior part of it. Storm wash. All right. This is the drain pipe. This is what it looks like. I don't know, it will pour water on the floor. I don't want it to do that. This is the draining pipe right there. You just hook it there. Then here you have the water inlets, cold water inlet, and you have the you have the and then you have the hot water inlet at the back of the machine. So hot and cold hot water inlet the back of the machine and then the back part of it it does come with the pipes and then the it comes with the pipes to link here put them in your it comes with pipes for your inlet that you can connect to your direct tap if you have that yeah yeah, and that's pretty much the interior and the exterior of the machine. I don't know if it has like knobs, like 
these ones for stability the knobs to stand so i've already shown you the outlook of the machine so the power button is here the start and pause button the temperature button where you get to choose whether you're using hot cold or warm water then you have your program where you choose whether your fabrics are of normal or they are soft or they are strong heavy like duvets and then you have the rinsing option now this part here where the function is it it decides to soak for you then wash then rinse then spin it for you choose the how many times you want it to it can wash three times and rinse two times then you can spin only once and then you get your clothes out that is if it's directly connected to water so if you have direct connect to water you just press the on button okay then you select um obviously maybe you're using cold water so maybe you're using cold water so you select cold water and then according to the clothes you're washing let's say i'm washing the baby's clothes i'll just choose soft and then i'll let it if i want them to soak it for me i'll just uh, start press until i have soak it will soak it will wash and then when how many times i want it to wash three times all right it will soak for me it will wash for me three times then it will rinse uh two times then it will rinse for me two times and then it will spin like you just select according to how you want it to, to perform and then the delaying part of it i've never understood what it means though <laughs> then you can choose your water level now and then you have the washing powder it has a washing powder compartment that i've already shown you where you put your washing powders and everything but since i do not have direct water supply i feel my my tank i've already filled it with the water the drum inside it has water and for it to start spinning you need to fill it with 40 liters of water now that's where the problem comes in when you don't have direct water supply it takes a lot of water it cannot spin if it doesn't have 40 it can't start washing like the drum won't to rotate if the machine doesn't have 40 liters of water so this is 40 liters of water approximately two jerry cans of water inside there so what i'm going to do i'm going to soak my baby's clothes inside here i'm just going to add detergent because it's the first clothes i'm going there the first clothes i'm going to wash because they're not so dirty so i soak his first and then i'll wash his first and then after washing his i'll take them out without draining the water then add the next bunch so that's what i'm going to show you how i do it so i've already added two jerry cans if you're adding water please add it on these sides not in front add it from the sideways uh it does say that you should not add water manually but who is nairobi nairobi ni nani yes this is what happens so before i connect water because i'm planning to find a way of connecting water to the house i just use it manually so let me show you how i'm going to do that so just use normal detergent so this is i think aerial or parcel either so that's what i'm using so just add it directly here because I cannot add it to this dispenser because for you to add it here you need to put it here so if you have direct water connection the water um, passes through here to go into the machine so it always washes the detergent into the drum I don't know if that is making sense so I just add it directly there the thing with this machine is that it sucks a lot of soap so yo, I just use normal powder because I feel like it's economical compared to just buying washing machine powder it's a bit expensive so once I put that there, like that, I'm going to put now my, uh, the outfits for the, the, the clothes, my baby's clothes inside, because that's the lot I'm starting with. For my baby's clothes, because most of them, they're not even that dirty and they're not like, uh, what do you call it? They do not drip color i just put like literally all of them inside there because there are some that i would soak like this one this one is white so it needs this one is white and it needs to be soaked aside so this one i would soak it aside but those that are not like 
really dirty i just put all of them together and then i just you know soak them so i make sure that they are like they're not they're not inside out like they're just you know like this and then i just put them in so i'll let you know once i'm done so i have soaked all my baby's clothes that's the level like i put all of them there do not exceed that part because if you do it's going to be heavy on the machine to like you know do the rotation inside is going to be heavy so that's that's enough i cannot put more than that so i'm just going to leave them there they can rest for a few hours i might do my laundry in the evening it depends because my son is still not feeling that well so i might do in the evening or tomorrow so i just leave them there to soak because either way if, if i had direct water connection i'll still leave it i will put the sock option and then i will choose how much time i want it to soak and start washing if you have direct water connection it will basically do everything for you it will soak it will wash it will rinse it will spin so your work will just take out the clothes and hang them yes so those ones go right there so for me the only thing remaining is for me to soak the rest and it's only the whites that i'm going to soak so that i can show you how clean it washes mm -hmm. i forgot to take the most dirty cloth from the baby's uh lot to show you once i'm done washing how clean it washes so let me just do that with these other clothes next day currently around nine ish okay so what i do i switch on the on button right then i select i'm not going to select cold or warm water because i'm not using it obviously i'm using cold then i select the program i'm washing baby's clothes so these are soft then i just select after washing selecting soft I select wash only right so it's going to wash for 17 minutes then i select the water level which is the lowest it has already washed for the first time and i want it to wash the second time now since it's not like directly connected to water i cannot select it to you know wash two times i have to do it manually so wash then i select the water level another 17 minutes then i press play then it will wash so after it finishes i'll remove them Now it has finished washing the first lot, so I'm going to take them out. So since it has finished washing, like I washed it two times, so now I'm going to get them out. That's what I'm going to show you. I'm not going to spin to drain the water because I want to use the water to wash the next lot of clothes. So I'm just going to remove them, like just squeeze them a bit. Put them in a bucket. So this is the only disadvantage because it can take much of your time but when you are washing you can do other things like it's washing like maybe i can do the dishes but once now i start rinsing i can't do other things because i have to go with the time because by the time it finishes to wash all the clothes i should I, i'm supposed to have finished rinsing all of them so that 
it can spin dry for me so so i'm just going to remove all of them then i show you how i rinse i'm just going to show you for the first lot because it's the same process all through and yeah that's what i'll show you guys so yeah just give me a few that's pretty much my rinsing setup so i have the clothes in the bucket right there with the water then i rinse them there then i add fabric softener here so that's what i'm doing last lot but i don't want to i don't want to remove them manually i just want to drain the water once so that's how i'm draining that water then i just press spin here then it will drain for me i've removed the last lot so what i want to do is rinse the the drum because after you wash your clothes some dirt remain underneath so after you've rinsed and then you don't you don't rinse the the drum it, it will make the clothes dirty like sometimes there is sand or there is just soil you know that. I'll start with the baby's clothes, the first lot that I wash. And you make sure you unravel them so that it doesn't get stuck. Now I spin. It's the only function I'm going to press. Then it's going to spin for me. That's how it's spinning. It takes ten minutes. So it has practically finished spinning. So at this point, I can like switch it off. Then I take off, off the clothes. See, there's no water. It's partially dry. So I'm just going to put them in the, remove them, and then hang them in the sun for like maybe 20, 30 minutes. Then they'll be good to go. Because now they're dry. Right? 
you can even iron them that's what i love you can iron and just keep them but i love the sun is out today so let me just hang them for a few minutes spin the rest and i'll show you guys after i've hung all of them and yeah that's basically how i do it that's how i wash using my semi-automatic machine not my semi my automatic machine that's how i semi use it like i use it manually like that because water but i'm planning to connect water to it soon so yeah that's how we do it